Welcome back guys. Today we are going to talk a little bit about batteries. In short term my batteries that I have in my battery bank including what's coming up in the battery way. So let's start with the main battery bank. And up here in the darkness we have our main battery bank. As you can see we have four rows. Each row have uh, 12 130 amp hour valence battery packs. So if we take a closer look here, you will see the 12 packs for each row. So basically each of those packs have 400 cells inside of each other. And that means each row will have 4,800 cells. So on those four rows we are talking about 19,200 cells. And roughly 80 usable or 80 kilowatt hours in theory. Uh, usable I would say around 75 depending on how you measure it. Uh, monitor by the Matrium as well. Currently red uh, because I have a little bit too cold in here. And this is an ongoing project that will be isolated in short. I'm not using this battery bank right now, it's just sitting passive. Underneath my inverters we have the secondary battery bank. And as you can see there is currently two strings of batteries. Two more are pending and I'm building them right now. Uh, we are talking about 1120 cells per string. Uh, average um, milliamp hour per cell is 2.2 amp hour, so we are talking about 9.1 kilowatt hours per row. So basically we have 18 kilowatt hours here with a total of 2240 cells. And to my battery bank I will be hooking up those 12 packs as well. So we are talking about 4,800 more cells that will be hooked up. In real life somewhere around 18.5 kilowatt hours. Um, they are mentioned as 20 kilowatt hours when you buy them but this is what I get. Um, so my main battery bank will actually be 100 kilowatt hours of lithium iron phosphate cells. So this is 4,800 more cells. To my secondary battery bank I will be hooking up two more strings and here you see cells for one more string this is 14 packs pre-assembled missing bus bars and fuse wire and everything and the fourth string will actually be as you can see here I have two boxes one more box there two more boxes there with already tested cells um, I also have a couple of spare cells here that should be tested and hopefully that will make up the fourth string depending a little bit on the result. My testing station is running hot. Um, I have two opuses currently that is not doing what I want them to do so I brought them out of service until I get time to test them. I actually have spare opuses so I should change them up. And Frankly, they have been testing thousands and thousands of cells already. And last but not least, under this bench here, we have 700 more packs. 700 packs with an average of 6 cells per pack or somewhere around there. So we actually have close to 4000 more cells here. How they are in real life, I'm not sure. It could potentially, if we are talking about 35% good cells over, let's say, 2.2 amp hours, we are talking about 1400 cells or 1500 cells here in those bags. If it's higher, we have even more cells to add to our power wall. So how much is this in total? That's a good question. In, uh, if we're talking about lithium iron phosphate cells that I have in my main battery bank, we're talking about around 24,000 cells. That's 24,000 cells, roughly 100 kilowatt hours. And they should last a rather long time, uh, depending on how you use, use them, of course. In my laptop battery bank of 18650, it's not that many cells. I currently have just about 2,000 cells running. I have currently just about 4,500 cells tested and ready to go to use. Uh, I'm mounting them now to the last pieces and that will be 
almost 40 kilowatt hours uh, somewhere around 36 because I only have around 2.2 amp hour cells um, those including the old one we are talking about somewhere around 28,000 cells and the new 700 packs if they are let's say at least 50% good uh, we will have somewhere around 30 kilowatt hours more so in total if everything match up we will end up with 140 a start that I know about um, I can almost guarantee 150 already uh, but with some luck we are talking about 170 or 175 kilowatt hours of second life storage battery bank from laptop cells and others so hopefully this will make my life a little bit easier this summer and I will take you on a journey to get the last pieces up and installed and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions regarding my battery bank comment down below and I'll see you next time bye